The brand new Pokemon card set, Crown Zenith, is here. And in this video, I open my first box. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hopefully, you're all doing good. Hope you had a good Christmas and a new year. This channel is not gone. <laughs> we are back on this channel for some more Pokemon content. And I'm very excited for the plans I've got this year. It's taking some time to get into the year, but I'm getting there. Okay? I promise you that. But today, we have the Crown Zenith ETB. This is actually the last Sword and Shield Pokemon card set we're going to get. Which is quite sad. It's been a great era. One that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. This is kind of the era that brought the channel. Well, actually, Hidden Fates was the first, like set that I opened, but I feel like Sword and Shield is what really embodied this channel. So it's going to be emotional to say goodbye to it, you know? This set is a special set or a high class set or a holiday set as many people like to call it, which means there are no booster boxes of this set. It's only ETBs and collection boxes. Luc Lucario obviously being the cover star. I will say this set is quite big compared to a lot of other holiday sets we've had. And that's because not only are there 159 cards in the main set, by the way, includes this amazing Pikachu card right here, which in Japan was a special promo. It also contains the Galarian Gallery, which is a subset within the set, similar to the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault with all of the art rare cards and the special art cards featured first in V-Star Universe. And just look at some of the cards you can get, guys. It's absolutely insane. So even though we are saying goodbye to Sword and Shield, we're doing it with a bang. You do get a promo card in this ETB, which is the beautiful Lucario card. I mean, just look at that, guys. Look at that. This is a big, big card in V-Star Universe. And for them to put this as a promo in the ETB set right here, it's very, very good to see. An amazing card. I'm looking forward to getting many more of these. Of course, we get the normal V-Star counter, the dice, the dividers, the energy cards, and the sleeves, which I will be using in this video because mine are all over the place right now but this is why you click the video guys the pack's right here so sit back relax and let's see what we're gonna get every pack is the same artwork but i will leave this one right here till the very end of the video so keep watching to see what we get in that one i'm gonna leave that right there and here we go guys hashtag first pack look i also heard that if you like the video right now before we get into these packs you'll get lucky in your packs of crown zenith okay here we go four from the back give it a tap we have a darkness energy to start us off darkness in the past for me has been very lucky we got a luxio speaking of lucky luxio 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 uh, Great Ball, we have a Seal, Oddish, a Larvesta, Shinx, that's a cool artwork, that is sick. A close up of this one for you guys. We then have a Whelmer, a Reverse Holo Lipard, and a final card right here is a Volcarona. Now in a lot of the holidays, now in a lot of the special sets in the past, we've had see, now in a lot of the holiday sets in the past, we did see Hollows in every single pack, such as the um, Champion's Path, but as we all in the community kind of deem that set as Champion's Trash, they haven't done that this time because those, because those Holo cards got watered down a lot. We also have Salt, we also have Scarlet and Violet coming out very, very soon. Pokerand, my website, has actually got the uh, boxes ready. Uh, they're going to be released this Friday. Uh, we've got our shipment on the way from Japan right now. A small amount of, of boxes, of course, but I am looking forward to improving Pokerand, especially introducing some Japanese stuff and having like a focused brand of Japanese on the website. So that's exciting coming soon. We've got a reverse holo Shinx right here. And the final card, we have a Sky Seal Stone. So our first holo of the set, but not a very special one. But in Scarlet and Violet, there are many, many big changes. The yellow borders that you see on these cards right here, Lightning Energy right now, are actually going to be going away. So these yellow borders will be actually grey now or like a silvery grey, which I think is very good. It's a very bold step for the Pokemon company, but a very welcomed one for sure. We've got an execute right here. And I think it's just a testament to what Pokemon are doing in terms of listening to the collectors out there. They've also got rid of Rainbow Rays. You know what? I'll speak about this in a different video. Let's focus on Crown Zenith. We have a Cherubi right here. We have a Young Goose. I can see some sort of border right here. Oh my goodness. And we have pulled the Hisuian Samurai V card. And just look at this, guys. That is stunning. And this is part of the Galarian Gallery, as you can see. I've pulled this a few times in my Japanese opening of V-Star Universe. Check those out on the channel if you'd like to see more. And we also, we've got a double whammy right here. We also have Professor's Research, aka Professor Rowan right here. We've got a full art and a textured special art card from the Galarian Gallery. Very good pack right there. And that, guys, is why this set is going to be huge. Just because it's the last set of Sword and Shield does not mean it should be underestimated. This is a big, big set. You know, I like these sleeves. The gold border is a really nice touch to it. But there we go. Our first two pulls of Crown Zenith, and it was in the same pack. Let's go. I'm interested to see how many kind of cards from the Galarian Gallery they do put into these sets. When I was opening Hidden Fates ETVs, you could expect maybe one full art shiny in each box. I'm not sure if that's going to be the same in these boxes. I have got some more to open, so make sure you do subscribe to the channel. This is not going to be the only Crown Zenith product that I open, especially definitely not the last ETV. Uh, moving on though, we have a Cherubi. We have a Reverse Holo Ditto, a very, very cool Pokemon, as you guys all know. And then we have a, I can't even say this card, an Enamorous at the back. 10 packs per ETV, of course. So yeah, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of people opening many, many ETVs. If, if you're only getting 10 packs per ETV and if there are this many cards in this set. So yeah, definitely popular set. Grading is going to be big on this as well. Ace grading, if you want to submit your cards, you're welcome to. Obviously, I'm not going to keep ramming that down your guys throat. You don't understand what ace grading is by now. But we've got the best ace labels in the game, you know? Ironically, though, the two cards that I'm showing you today on the backdrop is a Mewtwo with a standard label and a Charizard with a standard label. In this one, by the way, yes, is a 1996 Ace-10 base set Charizard from Japan. This is not CP6. This is not a reprint. This is the GOAT, the original, guys. It doesn't belong to me. It actually 
belongs to Lachlan from Australia. He gave me a pack to open in our What's Good podcast when he was a guest. And lo and behold, pulled the Charizard and he graded an Ace 10. And I just got it re-slabbed into the new Ace. Okay, you know what? I'm not trying to promote Ace. I'm just happy about that card. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. Okay, where were we? Emolga. Here we go. Love Disc. Oh, Turtwig. That is amazing. That is such a cute card. Look at that, guys. Ah, oh, but think this is the perfect example of where a gray border would suit this card better. The more artwork you have in the card, the more ignorant that yellow border is. So when it's a gray neutral tone, it just sets the rest of the card alight, you know? Something like this, I don't, a cherry like this, I don't mind it being yellow as much, but when it gets to these art red cards, which they are continuing in Scarlet and Violet, the gray monotone is better. We've got a turt twig, and then we have a Lipard. Well, let's get this turt twig sleeved up for sure. Beautiful, guys. I'm still really curious what's gonna be in our last pack of the video. Is it gonna be a banger? Are we gonna get something good? Or is it gonna stink? Okay, fourth from the back, give it a tiz up. We have a Fighting Energy. I'm gonna be fighting if I don't get any more pulls in this. We've got a Dusclops right there. Are we in focus? We've got a Rare Candy, shout out to Leon Hart. We've got Young Goose, Pokeball, Scyther, Energy. I have not forgotten, guys. Starly, we have a Ryolu, a Oddish, and a final card being a Zero Aura. Oh, look at that. Beautiful artwork of him just chilling in the flowers. I want to know in the comments what you guys have pulled from Crown's Zenith so far. Have you pulled some bangers? Are you happy? Have you been lucky? Have you been unlucky? Let me know, guys. Oh, and look at that. Our first V-Star holder card, placeholder card. Very nice. Soul Rock. We've got a Great Ball right here. We've got a Lost Vacuum. I've always lost my vacuum. That's why I never do it. I'm kidding. Seal. Ponyard. You know, I'm feeling the art rare in here, guys. I'm feeling the art rare from the Glorian Gallery. Oh, no. I've seen the <laughs> I've seen the reverse holo slot. It's a Blossom reverse holo. Let's see what the final card is going to be. The final card is going to be a Waylord. Damn, and I feel like we might have peaked early in this one. Let's go. Four from the back. We have a Water Energy, Ultra Ball, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Scyther Energy, Energy Search. Oh, Scyther Energy Search. There we go. Corfish, Aaron, A. Aronson. We got a Potion. A. There we go. A Galarian Gallery Art Rare. This time being comfy. Very, very beautiful card. Look at the hollow on this as well. It's just a very nice little sheen. And the final card is a Gum Shoes. I'm going to pop comfy into the sleeve right there. Hopefully, the uh, comfy is comfy in the sleeve if you. Stop. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. And here we go, guys. The penultimate pack of this video. Let's go. Don't forget to leave a like if you have enjoyed. If you're new here, subscribe, man. Why would you not subscribe to the most handsome Pokemon card? I'm just kidding. But here we go. Metal Energy. Digging Duo. That's me when I'm playing Pokemon Shining Pearl with my mate. Scyther Energy Search. No. Scyther Starly. We have a Ryolu. I don't owe you any money, Ryolu. You owe me. Aaron A. Aronson. We have a Rock Ruff, please. Another Galarian Gallery card. No, but it's a Volcarona. Reverse Rare. And the final card being... Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. A Rayquaza VMAX. I bet you didn't know that card was in the set, did you? Because I didn't either. You guys probably did. You guys are probably more Pokemon pros than I am, but you know what? You're going to keep watching these videos, aren't you? Yes, you are. That's a little bit weird, man. i got to turn down the weirdness sometimes, you know. Who doesn't love Rayquaza, by the way? One of the best Pokemon to ever exist. These sleeves are kind of hard to get into, by the way. But there we go. Rayquaza sleeved up. Let's go. And guys, it is now time for the final pack of the video. The video. But now, guys, it is time for the final pack of the video. The pack that you've been seeing on the table for the entire episode. Are we going to get something good? Pause the video right now and let me know I am curious to see, and let's see if we're going to get a banging card in this final pack right here. Could it be a Galarian Gallery card? We've got the V-Star placeholder. Is that lucky or unlucky? I want to know what you guys think. Is that If that's a lucky placeholder or not. Anyway, we've got a Luxio. We've got a Lost Vacuum right here. Let me get real close to the camera. We've got a Shinx. We've got a Cricketot. Cricketot. We've got a Ponyard. We have a Yanma. We have a Shatot. We have a Reverse Hollow Cricketot. Why? Why do this to us? So no more Galarian Gallery cards. Yes, that's it right. Galarian Gallery. Yep, yep, that's it right. In this set, in this box, in this ET to open today. However, We've got one final card left. What is it going to be? We have a... Ooh, Glaceon V. That's a very nice artwork indeed. Look at that. They really improved the V cards, and I'm looking forward to the EX cards. Oh, some of the leaks from the new set is unreal. I want, maybe I'll do a YouTube short on the new uh, the new cards from the new set. I think this year on the channel, one thing I'm more conscious of doing is putting content that could be a short as a short and put content that should be a video like this as a video, you know? Um, there's some video ide ideas that I have that I think could just be a short, you know? But anyway, guys, thank you for watching today. Let's do a quick recap of the cards we've pulled so far. We've got a Glaceon right here. Rayquaza of VMAX, the Comfy Art Rare from Galarian Gallery, the Turtwig Art Rare. Might be my favorite card from the, the opening today. It's very cute, very subtle, very easy. Oh, this is a banger as well, the, the Hisuian Samurai in the autumn leaves on that tree. Last but not least, we have a Professor's Research, aka the Professor Rowan's variant. But though, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. As you can see, the background is starting to improve. 2023 is starting to look up for Randall Pokemon. Could this finally be the year? I think it might be. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time and peace.